Hi, my name is Peter Miller. I arrived from Boston this morning, but my bag was lost in transit. I'm calling to find out if you found it yet. Let's see. Yes, Mr. Miller. Fortunately, we have tracked it down, and it'll arrive sometime this afternoon. We can just deliver it to your hotel. Which one did you check into? I'm at the Dovetail Inn. Okay. The courier will be there around 3 p.m. Don't forget to have your passport ready to prove your identity when you sign for it, and we're very sorry for the inconvenience. Hello, this is Yolanda Mendez calling from room 506. I wanted to do some sightseeing today, so I'm wondering how to get to the Modern Art Museum on foot. Well, the museum is fairly close to our hotel, about half an hour's walk. You just follow Eden Street North. However, it's really cold and windy outside, so I don't recommend walking. Oh, I see. Is there a bus or a subway that goes there? Because it's such a short trip, you should just call a cab to take you. The fare will be less than $5. Hi, this is Mindy Ross. I'm supposed to get my hair cut at 2, but I have a last-minute meeting with a client. Could I move it to later this week? Let's see. Sandra is full for the rest of the week, but Thomas can do it on Thursday at 3 o'clock. Sorry, but I'd really like Sandra to do it. I'm flying to Hong Kong on Saturday. Couldn't she fit me in? Hmm. I'll ask her to add one more appointment after her shift ends on Friday. She might be willing to do that. Oh, I'd really appreciate that. Excuse me, this is my first time working out here, and I noticed that some of the treadmills and stationary bikes have red stickers on them. Is that something I need to pay attention to? Yes, that's our system for reserving equipment in advance. Members can call to book a machine during a certain time. Oh, I see. That's a good idea for people who don't have time to wait around. Exactly. A lot of our members ask for that feature when they filled out the questionnaire we gave them last month. We hope the change will make things more convenient for everyone. Our head chef's last day will be on June 6th, and his replacement, Guido Massi, will officially start on June 7th, though he's already completed the new menu. All right. We're holding a special event on his first day to publicize the change so people can try the new dishes. We've run into some trouble. We were supposed to have some fresh Atlantic salmon delivered yesterday, but it's still not here. Really? I guess Chef Massey will have to come up with something else for the debut event we advertised. In that case, how about I call the printer and ask them to halt our menu project until we're sure? Thanks for letting me stop by, Mr. Friedman. I'm Chandra Badal, your real estate agent. It's nice to meet you. This is the first time I've sold a house, so I'm not very familiar with the process. That's why I'm here to walk you through every step of the way. Now, before we put the property on the market, you should invest in some cosmetic changes, like painting, to give the place a fresh look. This will help to maximize the return on your investment. I've set aside $3,000 for those kinds of improvements. I'm worried about going over that amount, though, because I don't want to empty my savings. Thanks again, Elizabeth, for helping me with the planning for the upcoming Technology Career Expo. I'm happy to help, and we've made a lot of progress. I've already paid the rental fee at the Oakdale Center. The building has several entrances, so I've asked their staff to post signs to direct people to our event. Perfect. And I've ordered the refreshments from the caterer. We'll have coffee and cookies for about 2,000 people. That should be enough. Since we'll be setting up the refreshments in the hall, I'd better call to find out how big the tables are so we know how many we need. I can take care of that now. Excuse me, I need to buy a new router for my Wi-Fi connection in my studio apartment. I see you have a large selection here, but to me, they all look the same. I understand. The choices can seem overwhelming. How many devices would be using the router at a time? Usually just two my laptop and my smartphone. Then, since you don't need it to cover a large area, I'd recommend the Conway HX. It is just a basic model, but it will do what you need it to do. It's our store's best seller. Okay, 
I'll give that one a try. Thanks. Welcome back, Christina. We missed you last week. I hope you fully recovered from that case of the flu you had. Thanks. I'm feeling much better now. A few days of rest was just what I needed. I'm glad to hear that. Now, while you were gone, Miss Milton assigned groups for the presentations at Kenner International. Oh, no. That's this Friday, isn't it? I'm going to be so far behind. I haven't even started any of the preparations. You don't have to do the work alone. Arthur Hammond is on your team. That's a relief. He's been working here the longest, so he'll know what to do. When I was unloading the ingredient shipment, I noticed that the walk-in refrigerator is not as cold as it should be. We can't store food in there if it keeps rising above 40 degrees. Is it having problems again? We were penalised on our health inspection because of that. Right, Stephanie? Yes, and we don't have enough money to replace it, so we'd better get a technician to look at it. I can call someone. I know a maintenance company that has reasonable rates. Stephanie, I'll forward you their phone number and email address. Thanks to you two. I think we can get this resolved before it causes a problem. Good news, Sally. We'll finally be getting some self-checkout machines. You know, the ones that let customers scan and check out their own groceries. They'll be installed next week. Great. I'll post an update on our webpage about that if you'd like. Sure. And speaking of that, there's some more news. One of the popular snack products we carry is going to be discontinued soon, the Healthy Plus Mixed Nuts. You know, the one packaged in the convenient can. Oh, no. Really? Yes. I'll head over to the aisle they're in now and then move them to the special Buy Now Before It's Gone display in the front of the store. Good afternoon. My friend and I just opened a bakery. When I found out about your food festival in an internet search, I knew it would be good exposure for us. I'd like to reserve a spot. Wonderful. If you want to be the first thing people see when they enter the festival, you should reserve one of our premium spots. Well, to keep costs down, I think we'd rather be by the soccer field. All right. And you should know that trucks are not allowed to drive here, so you'll have to park near the main entrance and take your goods to your spot in a cart. Hi, Miss Kimball. I'm calling from Rainbow Printing. I just noticed we've made a mistake with your order. I'm very sorry about that. We need those materials as soon as possible. Will there be a delay? Only for one item. We only printed 50 calendars because someone misread the form. We'll send everything that's finished today. We were planning to give those out as gifts to our clients. How long will it take to get the rest of them? We'll start working on them today so we can send them to you by Thursday morning. And because of this problem, I'll include a voucher for 25% off with your package. Valley Solutions has the experienced landscapers you need to keep your yard looking its best. We're more than just a maintenance service. We can totally transform your property with the strategic planting of flowers, bushes, and trees. Our designs have been featured in Outdoors magazine, as well as the hit TV show, Home With Us, presented by Spencer Shaw. Call us at 555-0141 to book a free consultation to get you started. And don't forget to visit our website, www.valleysolutions.com, to look through our gallery of photos posted by satisfied customers. Next, I'd like to update you on our library's annual used book sale. Normally, we hold this sale in August, but we've decided to move it to June this year because a lot of people read books over the summer break. We will have one library employee present during each shift of the five-day sale and the rest of the workers will be volunteers. We still need a few more volunteers, so please ask your friends and family if they would like to help out. As donated books come in, they'll be stored in my office temporarily. As you know, the Willow Room has flood damage that needs to be fixed. Any questions? Hi, Miss Hong. This is Jack from Pyramid. I'm calling to follow up on your accounting firm's company retreat at the Roden Luxury Resort. You've hired us to transport your employees between your office and the resort on April 5th and 7th. 
You said you'll have 94 people total, so that's two buses. But, um, I still need to know when you want to leave your office. I'll be gone this afternoon, but I'd still like to hear from you today. You can call and talk to my assistant, James. He'll take a message and pass it on to me. Thanks. Welcome to today's tour of the Pernex Limited Manufacturing Complex, which includes our production, testing and distribution facilities. The highlight of our tour will be a visit to our state-of-the-art factory, where you'll see actual workers baking the delicious cakes and pies we're famous for. Today's tour will last a full three hours, we'll see every part of the complex and the buildings are spread over a large area. There are places to sit along the way if anyone gets tired. Now, to accommodate a slight change in our manufacturing schedule, we've adjusted our tour route. We'll begin our tour where we usually end it, at the gift shop. Please, follow me. We're back on Science Seekers with our guest, Dr. Sanjay Bhatta of Toronto University. Dr. Bhatta has just finished creating an allergy medication that does not produce side effects in users. An article about his work was published last month in the National Medical Journal. In June, Dr. Bata will travel to Rio de Janeiro to accept the prestigious Cardoso Prize at an event there. If you would like to ask Dr. Bata a question about his work, call us on our hotline. Our contact numbers are listed on our homepage. Next up, I'd like to inform you all that our elevators will undergo a safety inspection later today. This will be performed by city employees, and it is part of the regulations for buildings of our size. Unfortunately, you'll have to use the stairs during the inspection, which is likely to happen while everyone is coming and going at lunchtime. We were hoping it would be later, but we don't set the schedule. We'll post signs explaining the procedure near the elevators and stairways in case you want to know more. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. It's time once again for us to take inventory of the merchandise in our store. Next week, we'll have a team of people working on this after the store closes. We usually budget five days for this, but last year everyone cooperated well. It took three days. I hope we can have a similar result again. Those who help with the inventory work will receive one and a half times their usual hourly wage. If you'd like to add your name to the sign-up list, come to my office anytime today or tomorrow. Thanks. Good morning and welcome to the factory tour here at Seneca Manufacturing. Today you'll have the opportunity to see how we make our wooden cabinets, tables, dressers and more. We'll start out with a brief safety review before you tour the production floor. That will be followed by a live demonstration, the longest part of the tour. Then we'll wrap things up by answering your questions. This is a large facility, and we don't want anyone to get lost, so remember to remain with the group at all times. If everyone is ready, let's get started. On behalf of the Redfield Gallery, I'd like to thank you all for attending this fundraising event. Our goal is to continue making our extensive art collection available to the public, and your generosity helps us do that. Tonight, we raise just enough to make the necessary upgrades to our website. We'll start that project in January, and we hope it will attract more visitors. To wrap up this evening's proceedings, you'll hear a speech from one of our artists, Randy Edelman. But first, I'd like to introduce him and give you some background information. Jung Su, are you ready for your conference in Greenville Shores? Yes. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. That's a great city. Are you doing any sightseeing before the conference? Actually, I've been so busy finishing my presentation that I haven't looked at what there is to do. Last time, I did a walking tour of the historic district. That sounds interesting. It was. I used Greenville Guides. I can pass on their website. Just don't wait too long before booking. Slots fill up quickly. Welcome to Patterson Bakery. How can I help you? Actually, I noticed the sign in your window advertising a temporary job for a baker. Right. We always need extra help during the summer months because many employees go on vacation. I see. How can I apply? Let me get you an application form. 
You can fill out the form here if you'd like. Just remember to email us your resume later. All right. Thanks. Thank you for hiring me as a business consultant. What sort of advice are you looking for? I know your bookstore is already well known in the community. But a lot of people are shopping online these days, and we're worried about our ability to compete. Yes, we think that's why fewer people are coming into the bookstore these days. I see. Have you considered making a significant change to the store, like adding a cafe? Interesting. We probably have enough space in the back of the store for that. That way, customers could come in to browse and have a cup of coffee. Hey, Taro, a customer just bought five bags of our Super Boost potting soil. Could you carry them to his car for him? Can I finish organizing the flower seeds on this display first? I'll be done in a minute. He's probably waiting outside. I told him to pull his car up by the entrance. Oh, okay. And he already paid, right? Yes. Just be sure to sign your initials on his receipt once you're done. It's something we keep forgetting to do. Hi, Paul and Mark. Uh, you've already installed the electrical wiring in the new classrooms on the west end of the building, right? Yes, we're almost finished. Is there a problem? Well, there's just a last-minute change. The school district has decided that each classroom should have a projector mounted on the ceiling. That's really frustrating. We'll have to redo some of the connections so that we can run wiring through the ceilings. That's going to take more time. Maybe another week or so. That's okay. Here are the new blueprints for the classroom design. I'd like you to look them over and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me, Mayor Jackson. I wanted to discuss the possibility of creating a community garden in my neighborhood. It would be a space where we could grow flowers and vegetables. Great idea. But finding a place for it could be a problem. Not necessarily. There's a vacant lot on the corner of Main Street and Linwood Avenue. It's city property, and it's been empty for years. Well, you'll need to have the city council approve a request like that. I suggest you start a neighborhood petition. If you get enough signatures, you can bring it to the city council. It's been great speaking with you on our radio program today. I'm sure our listeners enjoyed hearing about your career in finance. Thanks for having me. I especially enjoyed sharing passages from the book I recently published, Choosing the Right Finance Career. I'm glad you did. Actually, a listener just sent in one more question for you. Let's see. Isabel from Rhode Island would like to know your tips for choosing the right finance degree program. Any advice? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Priyanka, are you looking forward to the new restaurant opening next month? Definitely. It's about time we opened a second location. Yes. I was looking at the layout again, and I think we should order three more sets of tables and benches for the outdoor patio. Good idea. But I'm worried about placing the order right away. I know our bank account was used for payroll earlier today, so we may not have enough funds in that account to cover the costs. I just checked the account balance an hour ago. Okay. I'll go ahead and place the order. Hello, Gerard. This is Patricia Santos calling. Patricia, I haven't talked to you since your lease ended last year. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I've been staying with my parents in London, but I'm about to start trade school in Glasgow. Oh, congratulations. Actually, that's why I'm calling. I found a new apartment that I'd like, and the rental application requires a letter from a previous landlord. Could you write that for me? Yes, of course. What should I say? It can be short. Just say that I'm a quiet, clean tenant who paid rent on time. No problem. Just text me the contact information. Thank you for listening to Channel 3 News this morning. It's time to go to Haunan with our traffic report. Thanks, Samira. While most commuters are seeing a fairly smooth ride this morning, crews have begun repairs to the Lansing Bridge, and it's closed to all traffic. Drivers can take a detour on Canal Road. And when is construction expected to be completed? It's scheduled to wrap up by November 7th. 
Head to our website at news3.com to learn more about the progress of the repairs. Hello, Elmbrook Community Centre. Hi, I'll be attending the class that starts on Friday this week, and I'm wondering what to bring. Details weren't listed in the class description. Oh, the materials are always provided. But please note that classes don't start until next week. Really? I'll be in Chicago next week. My son's getting married. I'm afraid I'm going to have to miss the first class then. Thanks for attending this planning meeting. As I explained in my email, since the company is expanding its fleet of trucks, we need to figure out how to recruit more truck drivers. Any ideas? I did some research. This graph shows where people most frequently search for jobs online. Hmm, 84% use job search engines. So it's good we already post our job openings on those. But look at the next highest category. At 66%, it'd be worth investing in. I thought so too. We'd need to increase our recruitment budget though. I'm meeting with the rest of the management team later today. I'll mention our need for extra funds. The design for next season's backpack looks nice. What materials will you use? Well, polyester for the body of the bag, but it's hard to decide what to use for the straps. Any suggestions? How about cotton canvas? Hmm. Yes, okay. That would create an interesting texture contrast. Perfect. By the way, remember how we commissioned an artist to redesign our logo in honour of our company's 50 years in business? Well, the new logo is ready. Where would you like it to go? Last year, the logo went on the left side pocket. But for this model, I'd like to do something different. So put it on the top flap. No problem. Hello, I recently ordered a pair of reading glasses from your website. I chose blue frames, but when the package arrived, the glasses had black frames instead. I'm going to send these back to you now to be exchanged for the correct colour. But I wanted to ask how long it'll take for the blue pair to arrive. The original shipment took about three weeks, and I'd like to get the replacement sooner. My number's 555-0156. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. As you know, it's time to announce our newest Employee of the Month. And it goes to Haru Watanabe. Congratulations. Haru did outstanding work this month securing the Thompson Limited account. He also volunteers in the community. As our winner, Haru will receive a preferred parking space right outside the building for the next 30 days. Haru, please come up here to have your picture taken. Like all our employees of the month, your photo will be featured on the company website. Hi, everyone. My name is Sanjeep Gupta. We're excited to have so many new people working at our bicycle stores. During the week, you will learn how to repair bicycles and scooters for our customers. Before we begin your training, I'm going to show you around this model facility, which has been built to simulate the repair shop in the back of every one of our stores. Oh, a couple of you asked about your schedule this week. I'll be overseeing your work, and I come in at 8. A new report shows that customers prefer sustainable packaging in the products they buy. In order to expand our customer base, we've decided to look into using biodegradable packaging for the personal care products we make. Just last month, we hired a packaging consultant to develop environmentally friendly packaging for our products. Now we need to set up a committee to oversee the project. If you're interested in participating, contact your manager by the end of the week. Thank you all for attending the 30th Annual Dental Healthcare Conference. We have six sessions planned on the latest advances in tooth restoration. As a reminder, if you'd like to receive continuing education credit for attending the conference, you'll have to complete additional paperwork. Some of you may want to hear more details about that. I'll be at the booth in the lobby until noon. And finally, just a reminder that you are all invited to attend a dinner reception tonight starting right after the last presentation session. Welcome to this episode of our radio show, Research Now. On every show, we talk to a different scientist about their work. Today's guest is Gita Prasad, 
She's a scientist at Macmillan Shoe Manufacturers. Her job is to research how people move their feet when they exercise. She then provides that data to the design team, who use it to design new shoes. In fact, her team is looking for participants to take part in their next study. To sign up, visit Macmillan Shoe Manufacturers' website. Thanks for attending this management meeting. As you know, despite our strategy of positioning ourselves as a seller of high-quality furniture, we've been losing business to several second-hand stores selling used furniture in the area. There's one thing that we can start doing that many other furniture stores aren't, offering free assembly. By developing cross-functional delivery teams, we'll be able to gain a competitive edge. So next month, all of our delivery teams will attend sessions where they'll learn how to assemble our products in customers' homes. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming to this press conference. On behalf of the City of Somerville, I want to sincerely apologize to all community members affected by this week's train delays. My department has received reports of delays averaging an hour at peak periods. It has become clear that the ongoing track and wire repair work has become far too disruptive for city commuters. With this week's unacceptable delays in mind, my department, the City Transportation Office, is negotiating with the contractor, National Rail. That's the company that owns the tracks and runs the trains for Somerville. To be clear, the tracks and trains are not city property. OK, now I can take some questions. Hi, Susan. It's Maria. You asked me to suggest a new hairstyle for your appointment tomorrow. I'd recommend something cut all the way up to your chin. I think that a style like this would give you a very professional look. I'll show you the picture from my hairstyle catalog when you come in. If you'd like me to blow-dry your hair during your appointment, that's included in the price. Oh, and by the way, yesterday we got a shipment in of the Hydro 5 hair moisturizer that always sells out. I know you like to use it, so I thought you might want to know. Our first topic is an update on the data analytics software we installed last week to identify problems with our plastic molding machines. As I'm sure you're aware, we've missed our production targets for the last two quarters. That means we're spending too much time assembling our products. As you can see on this chart, the data show that one of our machines is running a very slow production cycle at an average of 6 minutes, 22 seconds per cycle. We've already flagged it for repair by a technician. By next week, that machine should be at normal output. We're very optimistic about the impact the new analytic software will have on next quarter's targets. Oakview Apartments, Chan Ho speaking. Good morning. I'm a resident here, and I lost my key. It must have fallen off my keychain. I'll need a new one. I'm sorry to hear that. I have an extra key here in the management office. I'll send one of the maintenance workers over with it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem. Can you tell me which unit is yours? Here's your admission ticket. It includes access to our 17th century pottery exhibit. It just opened this weekend. Thanks. I came here specifically to see that. I'm writing a book about European pottery, and there's a vase I want to take a closer look at. Then you might also be interested in today's special lecture. We have an archaeologist here to talk about how pottery is dated. You'll have to hurry, though. It starts in just a few minutes. Hey, Pia. This is Chris Suzuki. He's on your apprentice. Nice to meet you, Chris. So you're training to become a welder? Actually, a machinist. I'll spend part of my apprenticeship studying welding, and I'll also learn to read blueprints and operate machinery. Well, you came to the right place. There are plenty of experienced workers and opportunities for hands-on practice in this factory. I'm excited to get started. Well, we'll let you get back to work. I want Chris to meet a few more people before the shift ends. Hi, Marisol. I got the invitation from Sunita about your party on Friday. I can't believe this is your last week here. You've had quite a career. Thank you. It's been great. I'll definitely be at the party. What's your favorite dessert? Oh, I love cheesecake. Okay, I have the perfect recipe. Well, this is exciting. So, what's next for you? I'm going overseas to Europe for a couple of weeks. I can't wait. 
Sounds amazing. Excuse me, I'm looking at these floor mats. My office chair scratches my hardwood floor, so I need something to protect it. I bought a mat somewhere else, but it had a strong plastic smell. That shouldn't be a problem with our floor mats. You're welcome to take one out of the box to see for yourself. Thanks. Is there a chair I can try it with? I want to make sure the wheels won't sink into it. Sure. These mats have a patented easy glide surface, meaning they're firm enough to let you freely maneuver around your workspace in a rolling chair. It's something the manufacturer is particularly proud of. Abdullah, have you edited the film footage for that frozen food commercial yet? The video and music are done, but I'm still working on the dubbing to add the actors' voices in. Can you have it finished by the end of the week? The client hoped to have it air on television next Monday. Well, we just switched to a new software program. Hmm, okay. I'll ask the client if they'd be willing to move the deadline for us. By the way, congratulations. I heard that you recently won a Best Effects Award in an industry competition. Oh, thanks. Yes, I worked hard on the entry I submitted, so I was happy to be selected. Hello. Welcome to New York Ferry Service. How can I help you two? Hi. We're trying to catch the next ferry to the city. Yeah. How much are one-way commuter tickets? Okay, it's $10 per person. Have you heard of our new payment option? No. What is it? Well, we just introduced a payment system that allows you to pay for your tickets right from your smartphone. No cash is needed. That sounds great. It definitely is. I suggest you both download our app so you can use this method in the future. Hans Jones Jewelry? Hmm, I don't remember seeing your booth at this trade show before. Can you tell me about your company? Sure. We're a relatively new company, and we're just starting to visit trade shows. We specialize in creating affordable jewelry made with high-quality materials. Your necklaces are beautiful. I'd love to sell them at my fashion boutiques. Do you make any earrings or bracelets? Yes, I just didn't have room to display them here. But take one of our catalogs. It has pictures of our entire collection. Hi, Carlos. I have a question about the news story you're working on, the one about the local bus system. Did you get a quote from someone at the transit agency? No, I haven't been able to contact anyone there yet. And our deadline to get this story on tonight's news is 5 p.m., I'm concerned we'll miss it if they don't respond soon. Well, I just heard they're hosting a big press conference at noon. What a great idea. I'll leave now. Tomoko, our sales of fresh flowers have always been strong, but to increase business, I think we should try to sell more indoor potted plants. I'm sure we could find customers in local office buildings. Not just offices. People working from home would be interested too. Why don't we start promoting the idea by featuring some plants on our website? OK, let's do that. I know a photographer who specialises in product pictures. I'll get in touch and see when she's available. Hello, this is the Vega Event Centre. How can I help you? Hi, I work for Thompson Manufacturing Company and we're planning a charity auction. Great, we've definitely hosted those before. How many guests do you anticipate? Well, we want to invite 250 guests. Do you have an event space that would accommodate us? Oh, yes. One of our banquet rooms fits between 200 and 300 people. Excellent. We'd also like to have a musical act performed during the auction. Can you recommend some bands? Absolutely. I'll send you a list of groups that we regularly hire. Joining me for tonight's news broadcast is aviation expert Dmitry Petrov. Thanks for having me. Airports around the country are seeing more and more flight delays. What might be causing this trend? Air travel has been steadily increasing. More travellers and flights cause airport congestion and delays. Is this trend consistent across airports? Actually, no. Look at this graph. Some see average delays of around 20 minutes, but some, like this airport here, can be over 40. What would you tell travellers to do? If possible... Try changing your plans to avoid cities known for delays. And if you can, shift your travel to off-peak times. Helen, remember we discussed doing something special for our bakery's anniversary next month? Yes. 
We talked about having a souvenir item with our logo on it. Right. Here are four options I came up with. Let's see. I think the short sleeved shirt with our business logo on the front will have the widest appeal, since it'll be hot in the summer. It will really help advertise our store, too. Okay. I'll go ahead and order those now. Are you looking to buy a new car, but you're also concerned about the environment? Then there's no better place to shop than at Henry's Car Dealership. Unlike other dealerships, we only sell electric cars. That means our vehicles produce zero direct emissions, which specifically helps improve air quality. And we have a limited time offer for you. If you buy a car by Sunday, you will get a year of free car washes. Welcome to Su Min's factory. I'm delighted to give you a tour of our facility. Today, you'll see how we manufacture some of the world's favorite candies. Unlike many candy factories, we still make our products by hand, just like we've been doing since the factory opened over 50 years ago. It's what we're known for. Now, before we go in, you'll need to leave your belongings in the lockers behind me. We need to maintain a clean environment inside the factory, so it's very important that you don't take anything in with you. First on the staff meeting agenda is the new time tracking software we're implementing. All employees will start using it to record their hours beginning next month. Because it's very different from our previous software, everyone will receive access to an online training session. Note that you'll use the same logon name and password as you used on the old system. OK, next. Remember that a photographer will be here tomorrow to take pictures for the company website. Please wear professional attire. Welcome back to Artist Hour on Freetown Public Radio. With me here in the studio is Carol Thompson, the longtime director of the Freetown Art Museum. Ms. Thompson has just announced that she'll be retiring at the end of the year, so she joins us today to talk about her career and future plans. As we'll discuss later, she has always had a particular talent for fundraising. Over her 30 year career, she has raised a total of $5 million for art restoration projects across the country. Ms. Thompson plans to write children's books about well-known artists when she retires. The first will be based on the life of French painter Claude Monet. Okay, everyone. I want to talk about your new writing assignments. As you know, the special restaurant issue of our magazine is coming out in May but we still have quite a few restaurants we haven't reviewed yet. So I've assigned a different restaurant to each reporter. You can check your email to find out which one you'll be reviewing. This might seem like a fun assignment, but remember, thousands of people will buy this issue. Welcome, everyone, to the Pine City Community Center. I'm Dr. Garcia, and I'm here at the Community Center today for the annual wellness fair. We'll be doing free vision exams all day. If you don't have time today, we'll be offering the exams at our clinic for the rest of the month. Just remember, many eye problems are easily treated. OK, so first on our agenda at 9 o'clock a.m., eye specialist Dr. Yan Zhou will give a presentation in the auditorium about maintaining good eye health. Let's head over there now. Hi, I'm Takumi from Logan's Flooring. Thanks for watching this video. Carpets come in various designs and materials, and selecting one can be overwhelming. Today, I'll be sharing a few tips that'll make that process easier. First, consider where you're going to put the carpet. For example, if you're carpeting a children's playroom, you probably don't want to select a wool carpet, since they're difficult to clean. Second, we recommend making sure your carpet is protected under our warranty in case of damage. At Logan's Flooring, we provide one-year warranties on all our carpets. Be sure to subscribe to this video channel for free weekly tips and ideas. Hi, this is Barbara Chen, Head of Public Relations at Springfield Solutions. I'm calling to thank you for your magazine article about our company. In it, you praised our newest software, Ubex, writing that it helps factories run more efficiently. But you also emphasized how expensive the software is. While Ubex is costly, let me point out that this is just one of our many products. I'd appreciate the chance to discuss the full range of our software choices to give you a balanced view of the company. Please call me back and let me know if you'd be available to meet. 
Welcome to the grand opening of Oakfield Public Park. My fellow city council members and I are glad that everyone could join us. There are many fun activities for residents to enjoy here. See the beautiful Elm Fountain, which has a special fountain show every hour. There are also several picnic areas throughout the park. But I suggest the one between Dogwood Pond and the Children's Playground. It offers fantastic views of our city's skyline. Finally, for any gardeners among us, the Oakfield Parks Department needs volunteers to help care for the community garden. If you're interested, please visit the city government website. Since the hospital hired me, I've been working on making the meals we serve our patients more nutritious. But I want to promote healthy eating habits among our staff as well, because healthcare professionals with healthy diets are more likely to teach their patients to make similar choices. With that goal, I'd like to schedule our first nutrition class at a time that's available to as many people as possible. So I'm asking that you complete this short survey. I do have some flexibility in the afternoons, so I could move the afternoon session during the week to a later time if necessary. The weekend session cannot be moved. Hi, is this where the university tours start? Yes, but a tour group just left, so the next one won't be leaving for another hour. Yes, I wasn't planning on going until 1 p.m. because I haven't eaten lunch yet. I just wanted to make sure I knew where to show up. Can you suggest a restaurant nearby where I can grab a bite to eat? What a crazy week! Do you have anything fun planned for your weekend? I was planning on attending the Cherry Creek Battle of the Rock Bands Festival, but I heard on the news this morning that it's supposed to rain on Saturday and Sunday, so I'm not sure it would be much fun to go. Most of the festival is held at the pavilion, so you'd be protected from the rain. I'd love to join you if you still want to go. I just got off the phone with Mr. Thatcher. He wants us to send out a mass email to all our potential customers, advertising $100 off orders made by the end of the year. Wow, that's really great news. We already sent out a mass email last summer about our new products. Should we just use the same list? We've gotten a lot more leads since then, so we'll have a much bigger list. Good point. I'll call and have our data analyst go over a more recent report of our potential customers for the mass email then. All of your cupcakes look so lovely. I need 300 by tomorrow morning for my colleague's retirement party. Do you have more in the back? This is all we have, but we could possibly have your order ready by 9 a.m. tomorrow. That will be cutting it close, but I think it may be worth it. Your cupcakes are his favourite. Is there any way you could deliver them? Yes, but we will have to charge you a delivery fee of $25 on top of the cost of the cupcakes. I can't believe there are not as many people as I had expected. People have been talking about the play since it came out last week. I'm surprised too, but did you see the reviews in Theatre World? Most of the reviews were very critical of the play. The critics praised the acting of the veteran actors, though. Oh, I didn't read them. Actually, I don't trust reviews. I have seen a lot of plays that received great reviews, but most of them were not that good. By the way, do you happen to know where I can get some cash around here? There is an automated teller machine on the third floor of the shopping mall right next to the theater. Let's go there. Hi, I would like to know about the museum's current hours. Um, I saw in the newspaper that you might be closing late starting next month. Yes, sir. During the month of May, we will close at 11 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We will have special events at that time. Well, that sounds like fun. Will tickets be available to the public? Yes, they will. Each event will cost $20 to $50 for non-members. We expect the tickets to sell out quickly, so I recommend that you buy them at least a week in advance. That way, you won't have to stand in a long line to buy a ticket and will be assured of a spot. Oh, that would be great. Thanks for letting me know that. 
Hi, I'd like to collect my watch, but I lost the ticket. No problem. We have everything recorded here by name and by phone number. So I'll just need some ID and your phone number. Sure. My name is Kelly Rogers. My number is 272-4740. I dropped the watch off on Tuesday and was told to return on Thursday. Okay, here it is. Yes, you brought in a Swiss watch to be serviced. I didn't see you guys at the technology meeting yesterday. Did you guys miss the meeting? Yes, Mr. Preston. The department head asked me to pick up some clients from the airport. Um, I had a headache in addition to a cold, so I called in sick yesterday. Actually, it was a very important meeting. We discussed some new mobile communication technology which does multi-party video conferencing and data transmission. Speaking of which, Mr. Preston, please fill us in. No details of the meeting have been released because the contents are very sensitive. No problem, but I'll be out of my office for a couple of hours after lunch. How about doing that at lunchtime? Ms. Bauer, didn't you say that your company invested some money in the new business district in the heart of New York? Yes, Mr. Burton. We made an agreement with Kaman Construction regarding the city's new office building complex construction project last year. It's going to be lucrative. According to our financial analysts, most of the buildings under construction will be ready for occupation early next year and will be leased to IT companies. That's what I heard. Um, I just read an article about the project in Lucky Fortune magazine. It says that Common Construction decided to convert the buildings to luxury apartment complexes because the company couldn't sell enough units in advance to complete the construction. What's wrong with the project? I can't believe it. They can't decide to do that on their own. Right. Excuse me, Mr. Burton. We should go back to my office immediately to find out what's going on. Mr. Winnick, I am going over the anticipated costs of building the new branch office downtown. I have estimates here for the construction and electrical wiring, but I don't have anything about the costs of furnishing the office. Yes, I know. I am still in talks with several firms to see which one will give us a better deal. I should be able to know for sure by Friday evening. Well, I have to present the final costs to the budgeting department, so I will need to include that as well. Can you get back to me sooner than Friday evening? I have a meeting on this Friday afternoon. I'll call around and talk to those companies after lunch then. Hello, Ms. Baker. Now, I'm going to the anniversary ceremony at Bella Technology to cater the event, but I can't see any plastic plates and disposable cups. Could you tell me where I can find them? Oh, Mr. Johnson, we don't have any right now. I heard the supplies manager ordered some a couple of days ago, but they haven't been delivered yet. You know, this isn't the first time this has happened. Um, we are in trouble. I don't have time to stop by a store on the way to Bella Technology. The tables need to be set by 11. What should I do? Don't worry about it. I'll buy some and bring them to you before 10.30. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll send you a text message regarding the event venue. Ms. Ryan, have you heard that we're considering acquiring BK Foods 74? I just read the market analysis report. Did you read it? No, not yet. Could you give me a concise explanation of the recent results? No problem. It says we are already the second largest and will have the largest market share if we acquire BK Food 74. Um, I don't know what to say. Do you think it would be the right move? I mean, buying BK Food 74. Well, I'm not sure. I read an article last week that said the profits at BK Food 74 suddenly dropped last quarter. Maybe acquiring BK Foods isn't a good idea. Hi, I'm looking for a good venue for Joshua Accounting's annual award ceremony next month. Thank you for contacting us, sir. Could you please tell me how many people will attend your event and what kind of venue you are looking for? 
We would like an indoor dining venue that can accommodate about 150 people. I heard your hotel has a brand new indoor dining hall that can hold nearly 200 people. I think that would be a good venue for our event. Yes, the Homestead Party Garden is definitely a great place for various events, and every company wants to use it. But our hotel also has other good places for your event. I think you should stick to your event budget. Would $10,000 work for you? Um, no, probably something less than $8,000. Absolutely, sir. We have some good options for you. Let me double check and I'll get back to you with the best one as soon as possible. Who doesn't need to upgrade their home appliances? Best Deals is having an incredible sale. We have flat screen TVs, computers, refrigerators, and much more. We even have someone here who can help you choose the right size equipment for your home and for your personal entertainment needs. On top of that, we will deliver your new appliance to your home on the same day. This sale is for two days only, Saturday and Sunday. Don't miss it. Hello, Mr. Ryder. This is Christine Davis from Great Smile Dental Clinic. I'm calling about your regular checkup. Your records indicate that it's time for you to take care of your teeth. We opened our official website last week, so you are able to make a dental appointment online. If you visit our website at www.greatsmile.com, there is a link at the bottom of the first page that says set up an appointment. You can't miss it. If you have any questions about the scheduling process, please do not hesitate to call us at 575-4331. I'll see you soon, Mr. Ryder. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first performance of the Westminster Symphony this Christmas holiday season. To celebrate the first performance, Ms. Lisa Callas sings Brindisi from the opera La Traviata by Giuseppe Verdi, one of the famous Italian Romantic composers. Now, our light engineers are working on getting the stage lights functioning properly due to low light conditions, and it has caused a little delay in getting started. The concert should commence in exactly 15 minutes. Please finish your conversations and make your way to your seats. Thank you and enjoy the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I'm very honoured to present the Best Entrepreneur of the Year Award to Ms. Kate Ha. Ms. Ha is the president of KS Engines, which is widely known for manufacturing durable, energy-efficient and business-friendly automobile engines. Besides, Ms. Ha recently wrote the company's policies, such as the use of renewable energy sources when manufacturing engines. Isn't she amazing? Ms. Ha, please come onto the stage Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a warm welcome. We are very happy tonight to have you, Ms. Ha. Hello, Mr. Ashford. This is Megan Nelson calling from L Men's Apparel. We have your order here for an extra-large Milan's black hooded sweatshirt and sweatpants set. We are out of stock of Milan sports gear, but we have your exact order by a different designer, Kamong Sports. We could send that out to you right away if you choose. We are expecting another shipment of Milan sportswear at the beginning of next week, if you would like to wait until then. And next week, we are having a buy one, get a second one at half price event. So, if you wait until then, you can get a great discount on a second order of anything in our store. Please let me know which you prefer. You can reach me at 692 9815. Thank you. Have a nice one. The first item on today's agenda is our upcoming government inspection. As you know, the government is now doubling up on inspections of chemical factories across the country. There have been many chemical spills and lots of illegal polluting going on. But we here at Mondu Paints Korea are known for the excellent upkeep of our facilities and our strict following of the law. We welcome the government inspectors and we are sure that our excellent standards will be proven. We already had an inspection a year ago and everything was in order. We expect the same to happen again. Again, 
I am sure we will make the top of the list as the safest factory in the country. Hello all. Great to have you all here. We are here to honour Rebecca Martin, who has been a wonderful and important part of our company for the past 30 years. Ms Martin is going to pursue her childhood dream of moving to Denmark and learn to be a pastry maker. We are sure she will be as successful as she has been here performing her accounting duties. She uncovered accounting fraud last year from seemingly honest contractors that could have cost our government billions of dollars. We're very lucky to have her as Chief Accounting Officer in the Ministry of Finance. We know that with the same dedication and care, she will carry out her dream in Denmark and be a complete success at that too. Let's wish her all the best in her future endeavours. Attention shoppers! Lucky 7 Supermarket is celebrating our 20th anniversary this weekend. Now we are having a huge sale for our customers at all of our 15 locations in the northern part of California. Each of our 15 locations is offering discounts on different items, and you will get 30% off all beverages and fruits here at our store. If you join our loyal Lucky 7 Shopper program, you will get even more savings. Members earn points and they are exchangeable for products you want to buy. For further information on how to become a member, please visit our website at www.lucky7.com. Enjoy your shopping. Thank you. We're so happy you are willing to join us for the various employee enhancement training sessions. I know that many of you are excited about the new opportunities for growth in our company and the entire industry. Our first session deals with professional email rules and regulations. But first, I'd like to point out a change in the schedule. We have a workshop next month in September, but unfortunately, our October session has been canceled due to the staff meeting on the 26th. Remember that all workshops include lunch, which is catered by the sandwich shop next door. We'll break for lunch after the morning session. Hello, it's me, Courtney. I'm calling to let you know some updates on the company picnic we are organizing. I've already checked this week's weather forecast on the website of the Weather Center. According to the weather forecast, there shouldn't be any storms that day, but it is expected to rain heavily two days in a row before the day of the company picnic. I'm worried the ground will still be too wet for the day, so it would be good to reschedule the company picnic for some time next week. I know you booked a catering service for our event. Please call the catering company to let them know about this sudden change as soon as possible.